Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're delving into a fascinating branch of mathematics that challenges our intuitive understanding of space, non-Euclidean geometry. For centuries, Euclidean geometry, founded by the ancient Greek mathematician Euclid, was the undisputed model for understanding the properties of space. It was centered around five foundational postulates, with the fifth, the parallel postulate, stating that through a point not on a line, there is exactly one parallel line. However, during the 19th century, a revolution in mathematics unfolded. Mathematicians like Carl Friedrich Gauss, Nikolai Lobachevsky, and Janos Bolyai began questioning this fifth postulate. What emerged were two distinct and new geometries, hyperbolic and elliptical, collectively known as non-Euclidean geometries. Hyperbolic geometry, proposed by Lobachevsky and Bolyai, rejects the parallel postulate entirely. Imagine a saddle-shaped surface where the rules of geometry differ radically from the flat plane of Euclidean geometry. Here, the sum of angles in a triangle is always less than 180 degrees. Elliptical geometry, on the other hand, finds its essence on curved surfaces like spheres. In this geometry, there are no parallel lines because all lines eventually intersect. Consider the Earth. Lines of longitude eventually converge at the poles. In elliptical geometry, the sum of angles in a triangle exceeds 180 degrees. The implications of non-Euclidean geometry are profound and not limited to abstract mathematics. Einstein's theory of general relativity relies heavily on these geometries, describing how mass and energy bend the fabric of space-time. By challenging the boundaries of traditional understanding, non-Euclidean geometry provides a richer perspective of the universe, from the microscopic scales to the cosmic expanse. 